Now in this video, we'll talk about some of the QS mechanisms which can be used to overcome the network issues. Now majorly when, when you're working in a converged network, you have some voice traffic as well as a video traffic and maybe you have some FTP traffic. So there is a possibility that your FTP traffic may be utilized almost all the bandwidth available and maybe your voice traffic may get delayed or it can be dropped. And that's something we don't want. Now to overcome these things, what we can do is we can implement something called QS mechanisms, uh, which will ensure that we give some priority for a specific amount of traffic. Now the major problems with the network is the lack of bandwidth. Now the packets get dropped or delayed normally because of the lack of bandwidth or if there is no bandwidth, there is a possibility that your packets get dropped as well delay and jitter, these are the general general issues you have with, with the converged networks. Now we'll see the different QS mechanisms we can use to overcome those things. So the first one is classification and the marking. Now in your network, we are sending some voice traffic as well as we have some video traffic or maybe your critical traffic like database traffic and some other traffic like FTP or HTTP traffic. Now, the first thing what we'll do is we can classify the traffic as the traffic which is high priority traffic, the traffic which is a medium priority traffic, and we can also classify them as a low priority traffic. Now, this method, we call it as a classification. So classification is a method of defining the different types of traffic in different categories so that we can, we can define what kind of priority should be given for which traffic. Okay, so that's what we call as classification. And then the next thing what we can do is we can, as they move over the network, we can do some specific marking values with them. Like I can say that all the all the voice traffic coming should go with some marking of uh, seven numbers, something. We'll, we'll talk about marking more in detail in the next sections. Like whatever the video traffic coming should come with a marking of six or something like that. And as they go through the network, once it reaches the next device, based on the marking values we have, it is going to decide what kind of priority to be given for that particular traffic. So marking is a simple, it's like a coloring of the packets as a member of some specific network and it will be recognized throughout the network. So classification is differentiating the traffic like video traffic, voice traffic, a mission critical data or some signaling traffic, something like that. Now the next mechanism we can use something called congestion management. Now in the congestion management, what we can do is we can define a priority for a specific amount of traffic. Like let's say you have a voice and video traffic and also you have FTP traffic coming and if both are coming and there is a major congestion in the network, we want to ensure that this voice and the video traffic should be sent first always. Let's say this is your voice traffic should be sent always first before it sends all your FTP traffic or we can we can arrange them in a separate queue so that uh, it should not uh, this will ensure that your voice or video traffic should always be given high priority and there is a well less possibility of getting dropped so we have some different queuing mechanisms for that we'll, we'll talk about more in detail on that the different mechanisms class based weighted field queuing low latency queuing we have different options so here we are just getting into some basic introduction of those things now there's one more mechanism can be used called congestion avoidance where before it actually gets congested and reaches the limit and then it will start dropping the packets now before it reaches the maximum threshold value it randomly detects and drop the packets which are low priority so that's what we call as congestion avoidance mechanism we have something called red random early detection and weighted random early detection mechanisms which are considered as congestion avoidance mechanism where it is going to drop the packets before the network gets congested. And apart from that, we have some other options we can use like policing and shaping. Now policing and shaping are almost similar. Now in the policing, what we can do is we can define the maximum amount of bandwidth or maximum number of packets that can be sent by a specific traffic. Let's say, I can define a rule say that uh, HTTP is allowed to send to utilize the bandwidth of of not more than 64 kbps something like that or maybe 1 mbps and anything exceeding the 1 mbps will be automatically dropped 
So that's what we are going to define. We are saying that we are going to enforce a limit for specific traffic like HTTP, I'm going to say one Mbps. And if it exceeds one Mbps, whatever exceeding traffic, either it can be dropped or it can be again marked with some low priority traffic. That is something we can do. And whereas shaping is also same thing, we can define a limit for the specific traffic. And once it reaches the limit, instead of dropping, like in policing, it is dropping. Instead of dropping, we are delaying the packets and we are using some buffer. We are going to store them in a the buffer and we are ensuring that it will send without getting dropped. Now that's what we call as traffic shaping. We'll talk about this more in detail in a separate sections. But in this section, we, we are just giving, getting into some introduction of what are the different QS mechanisms we have, uh, which will ensure that your high priority traffic should always get forwarded and your network, if in case it gets congested, in that case, we need to ensure that our low priority traffic and the high priority traffic should be differentiated and preference should be given.